From location, location, location to a place in the sun, viewers have always been gripped by watching buyers tour dream homes. But there's a new format on the market. Luxury house hunting. US-based series Selling Sunset follows an elite real estate uh, follows elite real estate brokers in Los Angeles and has shot up to being one of the most watched series on Netflix. And now the UK is looking to replicate it with a reality TV series following a London-based estate agent for the rich and famous. What is the appeal behind this uh, enduring format? Henry Pryor is a property expert and buying agent. Helen Daly is a TV critic. So we have a TV person and a property person. Helen, uh, assistant editor of the Radio Times. Helen, first, what do you think the appeal of these programmes is? Because there are quite a few of them. Yeah, yes, that's right. There are a lot. I think it's twofold. I think you have... Uh, property shows that are aspirational, like Selling Sunset. We all want to be around the pool in LA, absolutely. But then you also have informative property shows, like A Place in the Sun, like Homes Under the Hammer, which give us vital advice. And, um, you know, they also show us that we can do it. Any dream that we have, we can do it. So you think when I'm watching it, I'm actually thinking in practical terms sometimes about what I might do or where I might buy, as opposed yeah. to dreaming about what I'm never, ever going to have. <laughs> I guess, you know, if, if you're in the market for a new, ho a new home, you're looking for a fixer-upper, why not watch Homes Under the Hammer? You can get some really good tips <laughs> on not just, you know, how to do it, but the paperwork side of things. It's valuable. Also, you know, it's good telly sometimes. It's good drama. Yeah. There's real life well, stories that, on it. That's because those estate agents make such good telly. Henry Pryor, estate agent. <laughs> I don't know. Do you actually like watching these programmes yourself or do you hate them? I think uh, there's something for everybody, isn't there, Evan, uh, on the uh, on the telly these days when it comes to property. Grand Designs and what Kevin McLeod has taught many people and many people have subsequently aspired to, I think, is a, a, good, a very good example of, uh, of, of when it goes well. But clearly there is the red meat element of uh, the apprentice uh, element of, of uh, some of these shows where egos of colossal sizes, bigger than the maisonettes and the mansions that they're perhaps touting, come together and... Uh, uh, and the results are uh, are impressive or distressing, depending on how strong your stomach is. I guess the question, though, Henry, is is why are we so interested in looking at properties of the rich and the famous, the, the, the upmarket properties that really we're not going to afford ourselves, places that are just way out of our way out of our league? Well, and I, I guess it is a peek into another life, and that's a, something that television can offer us. Absolutely. I mean, it's curtain twitching, Evan, and it's, uh, you know, the, the days of top shelf uh, property porn in uh, wrapped uh, uh, in the pages of The Country Life or indeed of Hello magazine have migrated as so much of culture has onto the screen and indeed the very small screen, the mobile screen. We can see that people are uh, not only interested in how others have done things, perhaps uh, in the street or in the borough or in the parish, but also uh, very ordinary people perhaps doing things that one might actually aspire uh, and, and feel one might be able to achieve oneself. And uh, whether it's through the keyhole with Lloyd Grossman poking his nose into uh, uh, the homes of the rich and famous, uh, or, or indeed just Phil and Kirsty helping the process which no school education prepares one for, that largest purchase that anybody makes in their life if they're fortunate enough to be able to do so is something that we could all do with learning much more about and this is a one very effective way of doing it. Helen I don't know if you know about the economics of these programs but are they actually quite cheap TV to make? Uh, I mean I don't have the numbers but I think you know when you're looking at something like Selling Sunset it's big budget it's high drama it's a strong reality show I imagine that's got a very different budget to something like Homes Under the Hammer where they're just contacting normal people. Yeah. And Henry, tell us about estate agents, because actually this new thing coming up on Channel 4 with um, estate agents selling in the, the, up, the, the top end of the market, estate agents do seem to, to be a particular demographic who'd make good TV. I think there's always been something of the performer about most sales people. Uh, estate agents are very much out there. Uh, they have to have that uh, confidence to be able to go in front of complete strangers uh, that's and to sell yeah. something that it, they, something they don't necessarily wholly <laughs> believe in, Evan, perhaps. Uh, but I think this opportunity to put people into uh, the homes of the rich and famous, whether they are uh, the homes of those individuals that they want to see or whether they're just incredibly expensive homes, we in the UK in particular have uh, always have and I'm sure will retain a great passion and interest. I, I imagine so. Henry Pryor, uh, property expert, Helen Daly, TV critic. Thank you. Thank you both.